Hey Vanners, and uh, to the general public out there that would like to own a van one day, go for it. Uh, my name is Chris Wright, my friends call me Bubba. Uh, I'm retired from Marathon Petroleum in Ashland, Kentucky. I've uh, been vanning since 1984. I've had a few vans, but this one has been uh, with me for a long time. It's kind of a, a Frankenstein, uh, I should say a Johnny Cash van. It's a uh, uh, 86, 88, and 91 combination to make this fan. So uh, I went with the satin black and wanted to go with a kind of a Second Amendment theme and Harley Davidson theme. I, I used to be into motorcycles. And um, I've got the Kragers on the van. I've got the 10-inch uh, wheels in the back. And I've got the visor put on. I had a friend of mine at Marathon Petroleum a guy uh, w uh, worked in the well department, uh, did a great job on this. We called him Wasper, but uh, it's all it's all steel. Uh, it's kind of my like my uh, uh, airbag that I don't have in the van because it's because uh, of the year. So, uh, but uh, it's a lot of fun to anybody out there. It doesn't take a lot of money to uh, put one together. Uh, believe it or not, uh, the interior was uh, bought with about five remnants from Walmart the shag carpet because I couldn't find it so it doesn't cost a lot of money to try to put one together so if you're thinking about putting one together and trying to get back into the the van scene or or, or new to the van scene it's a it's a great adventure uh, it's it's family you know it's a lot of family uh, and I've known people since uh, since the 80s so if you want to get have some fun get a van and uh, just even if you don't paint it put some wheels and tires on it and and come to these events because uh, uh, it's 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 uh, it's it really is a lot of fun. I've got a 351 Windsor motor. It's just basically all all new gaskets and cleaned up. A new carburetor, uh, Edelbrock carburetor, uh, chain steering wheel. Ended up going with a black snack tray instead of everyone does the wood. I wanted to go with the black. I wanted the interior to go with kind of the Second Amendment and the biker scene look I like all black and uh, I you know Jimi Hendrix you know music and stuff so uh, but um, you were telling us about these seats you got these seats I got uh, these seats done yeah in south side of Postry in Ashland Kentucky mm -hmm. I took them out of a wrecked vehicle and had this the, the uh, head done into them the, the uh, emblem and the orange and the black and the, it was just silver so it kind of updated the seat a little bit so you know you don't have to go out and buy new seats you can update what you got mm -hmm. I did the doors up, yeah, just kind of a, that's a homemade version. Just kind of a quick, uh, just throw together for the, just wanted to get them going and have it like an interior in the van. It probably took me all summer. I've had the van put together now for probably about six, seven years probably. So uh, it's starting to show a little wear on the outside, a little body work, but uh, you know, it's just an old van, but it's, it's fun uh, getting it out and moving down the highway and getting with our club, uh, the Bluegrass Vanners, Ashland, Kentucky. Yeah, I made the uh, vans only. That's just out of some old trees in, this, in, in, in the fall of the year. I, I cut that out and put that in there just for, you know, for vans only and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the club right there, the Bluegrass Vanners. The club's been around since 1974. Uh, lost a lot of members here uh, in the past. And, mm -hmm. and uh, here recently, we've lost, lost uh, a few, uh, Wombat and Kathy. And uh, our Wombat actually passed away. And then uh, uh, Ghost and then... Uh, hippie and we've lost a lot we really have so what uh, the interior uh, I just put the check or put the uh, black uh, velvet curtains up mm -hmm. and I ended up getting that at Spencer's the middle middle version right here came from Spencer's so uh, you were telling me about the carpeting too on the floor the carpet came from actually Walmart uh, I couldn't find the shed carpet so I bought five remnants and actually came from uh, Walmart so uh, Looks good. It, it doesn't take much to uh, put an interior together if somebody really wants to put an interior together I mean mm -hmm. it's not that costly but if you do it yourself and you can put if you put your mind to it you can do it very cool now I see you also have your overhead console up there yeah I came out of an old 88 uh, Ford van and then my uncle Roger gave me the uh, really cool uh, chrome stereo or chrome uh, a CB in the, in the yeah. console yeah. old school so uh, but uh, and then they got got the chrome steering wheel. Uh, it came from Jegs. Uh, you can get a Jegs for about a hundred bucks. And oh, they uh, still have those. Yes, okay. they do. Jegs, wow. and I think uh, Summit Summit Racing has them also. Huh. So.
How many miles do you have on it now? I got 135. It had originally uh, 55,000 miles, mm -hmm. and it's got 135,000 on it. It's 351 Windsor motor. I've got uh, the bed in the back, and I've got storage all underneath the bed where I got my spare tire and I got oil and anything would you break down on the highway or anything. So, th what you're looking at there on the bed is all the past events from back in the 80s. T-shirts. The t-shirts. Uh, t-shirts. T-shirts. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah they, that all our different uh, events and parties we'd went to through the through the time. So. Uh, yeah. A real nice spread out of it. But it's uh you know. The van that uh, just had these little emblems made, four wheels move the body and two wheels move the soul. So, uh, you know, this is the two wheels that move the soul. There you go, and you got a nice separation between the front and the back. Yep. Yeah, and the doors are done up real nice with carpeting and uh, some shag, a little shag there. Yep, and then I got the, uh, I had to get a personalized tag, of course, for it. Uh, oh, yeah, there you go. Kentucky Vanner. But just an old van, but uh, you know, to all the people out there that are thinking about buying a van or something, go for it. I mean, put your money together and uh, you know, uh, start building one. If you father, son, or or a good buddy or something, you guys want to go as a team. I mean, get one going and, and start coming to these events because uh, you know you guys would have a really a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, that's right. That's just, what we uh, do, right? Been vanning since '84, so uh, you know it's a good time and no and no problems, no drama. That's why I enjoy it, and good family and friends and. Uh, what a better place to go and have fun and, and, and go three or four, five, six, seven hours or even more to a van show. So next year event is in, gonna be in, uh, be in Ohio. So uh, right in our, you know, in some people's backyard. So uh, check out the event next year uh, if you can, so. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of information on Facebook. I know a lot of people don't, don't do Facebook, but honestly, that's where you find out exactly. a lot of what's happening. Exactly, there was a guy here today, he had a minivan, an older gentleman. Mm -hmm that he was uh he's actually seen on youtube videos and different things about it he was interested actually drove here and was wanting to try to buy a van to start vanning so uh it's he said he's always wanted a van and and he said it's it's time so uh yeah. you know i mean it's if it's uh you know it's if it's your opportunity to go for it go for it yeah yeah come on check us out you know uh check out the van the van scene and the van community uh you know i haven't i haven't myself drank in probably uh, 10 or 12 years uh, but you know you don't have to drink to have a good time. But if you do, that's fine too. I mean, anyone that wants to have a good time, uh, that's what life's about. I mean, it's it's all it's all at, at your speed, and to uh, you know enjoy life. I mean, life is short, and, and uh, you know uh, enjoy it. So, come on, check us out. Right. Well, thank you for showing us your truck. Man. Hey, I appreciate you yeah. stopping me. Very cool. Very nice. Yep. Appreciate you guys so much. I mean, you guys really do a lot. We really appreciate what you guys do. Well, thank you.